In this learning dialogue, we'll discuss about YouTube Analytics dashboard. Google provides the Analytics dashboard to the YouTube video creators. This is to create insights for the developers to understand which videos are viewed more, why the users are not able to get more viewers for this particular video, and what is users viewing behavior, and also get the insights and they can come up with a new strategy to increase the audience to the content. In this particular learning dialogue, we will see one example YouTube analytics. I collected a data from a friend uh, who has a channel called learn by watch. So this data I am showing it to you is from the channel called learn by watch run by my friend. Before showing the YouTube analytics, you might have watched lot of YouTube videos, a lot of videos in YouTube. So what data can be collected from the viewers? Can you think of that and how this data will be useful for the developers? I mentioned that Google provides the analytics for the YouTube developers. So if you are a YouTube developer, you might know the answer already. And this is for the question who are not a YouTube developers, who are first time looking at the data analytics. So if you are not a YouTube developer, please think about what data can be collected from the viewers, about viewers behavior and how this data will be useful for the developers that is YouTube video content developers. You can pass this video when you work on this task. After completing task, you can resume this video to continue. So the three main data is collected. One is viewing behavior, how many views on the video, all this information. The other information is personal information. When you register or sign in to Google, you might ask you uh, to your age, your gender, your other information, location, all this information. All this personal information is recorded. Also from the IP address, the location information, information is captured. This will tell you from which country law the your YouTube viewers are from. How many viewers are from India? How many viewers are from non-India? How much your YouTube video content has a reach? In this particular graph, it shows that in the last 48 hours or last in the two days, number of views on particular video, it is like a 68,000 view and the graph shows time series representation like number of views over the time period in the last 48 hours or just 48 hours from May 22nd to May 24th. Here this particular graph shows for the last 90 days, what is the user's viewing pattern? You can understand that the viewer pattern is exactly similar repeating in a cycle. For example, uh, the viewing pattern over uh, initially it goes peak then goes down again peak. It is because of weekends. The viewers engagement with the video increases over the week, weekdays because this content uh, the channel I was representing is from education content. Most of the students who watch this video during weekdays, during weekdays they do not watch the educational content. So there is a small peak in the cyclic manner is called weekday content and weekend there is a drop in the content. However, in April the number of viewers in general is less, in the May number of viewers is started increasing. So you can see a nice curve here increasing. So this kind of information can be represented from the user's viewing status. This will be very useful for the developers to think what kind of content they create and what happened suddenly that in a May month number of users increasing. What was the reason? Is it I added a new video or changed some feature, you added some thumbnail. So the developer can introspect what happened the number of viewers increased or what happened number of viewers can decrease. So these kind of questions can arise from looking at this graph or this is the view from last 10 years and it shows the number of users viewing this particular channel videos for last 10 years. You can see the peak time in 2017, then there is a drop, again there is a drops going on. So this kind of analytics can be useful for the YouTube content developers. This is for the viewing behavior. Also from the audience that is from the participants, you can see how many participants are male, how many participants are female. This representation is a simple bar chart showing that the percentage. So it is easy for us to understand what is 
uh, number of party percentage of male and percentage of female participants from the gender. And the age is represented again in bar chart. Age is not a categorical variable. However, when you classify the age into several bins, it becomes a categorical variable. Like a male, female, age in the age range between 13 to 17, 18 to 24, something like that. Also, the data from uh, where the users from, 17 percent of users from India and 5 percent from Pakistan and 1, 2 percent is from Nepal. So, this data will be shows that who is watching your content from where. And the very important information is the subtitle is very important or not. Most people do not see subtitle which means most people like to watch the content in the language you are speaking. So, you do not need to spend much time on creating a nice subtitle and everything. Unless your video has a more subtitle, subtitle user percentage for example, English is instead of 0.2 if it is 5 or 10 or 20 then you might think of creating subtitle for every video you create. Other types of insight is that from where the user came to your YouTube content. Is it by YouTube search or is it from suggested videos or is it from a Google search, is it from some other data or you found this particular video from represented in some other blog series. This kind of information will help you to find from where the user is traffic is coming into a video. So, then you can do more advertisement to create more users. So, I showed the YouTube video data, but I showed only the few set of data like number of viewers. I did not show what is the user's viewing time, all this information. But this is due to flavor that analytics is everywhere and uh, even by looking at the YouTube videos, number of times you view, number of likes, all this information can help the developers to decide how to create a better content. 